Pretty cute. Faster than a speeding infection. More powerful than GM. Potentially able to help restore neutrophil function in some patients receiving certain forms of myelosuppressive chemotherapy in a single cycle. <sighs> Look! Up in the sky! It's a red cell! It's a platelet! It's neutrophil! It is a summer day in Amgenville. Perry White Cell, Amgen's Neupogen PDT leader, is working on a speech for the all-staff Neupogen birthday celebration. Hey, Kirby, could you bring me a cup of coffee? Uh, you know what? Make that a cappuccino. Thanks. When natural arch enemy, the evil Sue Demonis, decides to do away with Perry White Cell. Cell's been poisoned? Holy cyclophosphamide. I'll be right there. my access badge. Uh, could you let me in? No, you'll have to go to security. Do you know who I am? Hey, buddy, I don't care who you are. I mean, Bill Bonney was on national TV telling us how careful we have to be with protecting our information. Come on. I don't care if you're I discovered Neupergen. Hey, you got to go to security. What does a superhero got to do nowadays to get in a building? Got your access badge, eh? I'll sign in. Has anybody seen Perry White Cell? No. What is this? This is the Camp Amgen Morning. Isn't that in Hawaii this quarter? Where can I find an empty room around here? I know. This guy's always out of town on business. I've got to find room 102F8564. Where the heck is the room? I think it's down the hall. I think you go to the right and turn left. Oh, I think it's down that way. Actually, I, I think it's over this way. It's right down this way. And if you go right down this hallway, it's that way. I think it's down there. What took you so long, Neutrophil? Hey, Neutrophil covers research. You guys in Building 10 have your own superhero. Who's that? Flash Gordon. His car is always in the parking lot. Step back. This is a job for Neutrophil.
This concludes another chapter in the fight against infection and in the improvement of quality of life for people worldwide. All right, let's get some new pagen. 300 mics to stimulate neutrophil growth. See if we can't get some of those good white blood cells going again, huh? Neupogen, a small vial of clear, colorless liquid. It would be easy to overlook on a pharmacist's shelf, yet this discovery has changed the lives of more than a million patients worldwide. Neupogen has brought immense scientific and financial success to Amgen, and it has secured Amgen's position as a visionary leader in the field of biotechnology. Five years ago, Neupogen received FDA approval for use in patients. This is the story of the team that brought Neupogen to the world. It's a long and difficult road from scientific discovery to the actual production of a product that is ready to be given to patients. Part of what made Neupogen such an achievement was Amgen's size at the time of its development. We were growing cells to try to get enough material to do the sequencing on the protein. And what I remember is that we really mobilized a whole group of scientists and, and research associates at the time to be able to grow enough cells to do the purification. At that time, there were only about, then maybe about 100 people were at Amgen, I think, at that time. We were able to isolate two molecules, one of which we called pluripoetin, which turned out to be human GCSF. I purified Nupogen that was called GCSF in 1983, 1984. I had been interested in the colony stimulating factors from the late 1960s, but when GCSF looked like it was going to be a product for patients, I came to Amgen in, I believe, uh, late 1986. As research continued in the lab, clinical trials began to determine the effects of Nupogen on patients. Well, we've never in Australia done phase one clinical trials before, so uh, this was uh, very new to us, and the patients uh, also really didn't know uh, whether the drug would benefit them or not. Because I was involved early on in, in phase one clinical trials, I, I knew this drug was working very early because I wasn't involved at the stage where it was randomized and only half of the patients got it and I didn't know who was getting it. It was clear. We realized almost immediately in the course of that clinical trial that the Nupogen was working. It was clear that people could see that this was going to be a big improvement in patient care. Clinical trials for Nupogen moved into phase two and phase three. The reputation of Nupogen began to grow within the medical community. A second cycle uh, led to a marked reduction in the duration of their uh, neutropenia and kept them out of the hospital. So it was pretty apparent to us from the open label portion how effective the agent was. The most memorable aspect, of course, was that it worked. And within a few weeks, uh, we knew that it worked. One of the more challenging chapters in the Nupogen story was the preparing and filing of the product license application for submission to the FDA. Uh, in order to focus, we decided to rent a condominium in Westlake Village where uh, we, were, we cloistered ourselves for, I think, over three months' time. And it was a two-bedroom condominium. And many jokes have since transpired about sharing bedrooms um, with a variety of people at Amgen who have, <laughs> as we were assembling this PLA. The level of energy and excitement and um, just dedication of the team was very inspiring. The product license application was about 55 volumes or so, and each volume contains roughly 400 pages. Uh, so if you can do the math on that, it's, um, I don't know, that's 20,000 plus pages. Team members recall Amgen setting a new standard during the FDA advisory panel hearing. We had created a, a series of carousels that had backup slides that would, had data that would answer almost every conceivable question. Now the job to find that slide as quickly as possible fell to, the, to Brian McGuire, who was with us at the time. And every time the FDA or the um, advisory panel asked a question, he automatically got the slide on the screen before they can get the question out of their mouth. We got the thumbs up from the FDA advisory panel hearing because the team prepared so well for that, and it was like the pinnacle of the whole process where we got uh, all the information together and nailed all the questions, and it was very, very gratifying. Once Neupogen received FDA approval, 
the first priority was to ship the product to waiting patients. As I remember it was a Thursday morning early. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of teams um, at Amgen went into action to make it um, happen quickly. We had champagne at the ready. The fax comes through. We have about two sips of champagne and then we have to go work uh, for the next sort of 24 hours straight. When it was approved, there was a real sense of satisfaction and, and joy that all of our hard work was uh, acknowledged by the Food and Drug Administration. That's uh, just the most satisfying part of it, is, is being a part of a team that, that really um, made that all happen and, and got it from the bench to the bedside uh, as fast as possible. The same reaction was heard over and over again, the profound impact that Nupgen had on patients and on their families' lives. I'd be very sick and I would be staying in bed for a, for a long time and I'd be going to the, um, the hospital a lot. Well, it sounds like a cliche to, um, oh, uh, we had a miracle happen or, you know, we're, we just wish for a miracle. This, there's no doubt about it. That's what this drug was for us because Shauna was going to die and then she didn't. We ran into one of the patients that George had been treating and his girlfriend walking down the street and it was kind of a coincidence and, and this patient had been ho hospitalized recently and should have been in the hospital. And George looked at him, and he looked at George, and George said, what are you doing here? And the patient said, well, I've got my patient pack of Nupogen. It's, it's strapped to my belt, and, and I don't have to be in the hospital anymore. I'm out enjoying the day with my girlfriend having some coffee. This family around their kitchen table told me about taking their first family vacation, having uh, several children affected with this disease, sickly neutropenia, and always being at home with somebody always being sick. But with uh, the availability of GCSF or Nupogen, they took their first family vacation and they told me about their trip to uh, Yellowstone. This way I was able to teach and be normal for my children. I have children who are 9 and 14 and I don't want them to see their mother debilitated and I want to keep doing the things that I can do, taking them places and dancing lessons and sporting events and all the things that I would really do. With new indications being developed, Nupogen's future looks bright. There's always been sort of a lot of concern about, you know, is there a downside? Can neutrophils ever be bad? And that's where we've come, I think, in the last five years, is in oncology, neutrophils are only good. Where we're going to go in the next five years is in AIDS and in ID, neutrophils probably are only good as well. They're never bad. I think the future for Nupogen is really bright. It's uh... It's one of the wonder drugs of the 20th century, really. What we'd like to see is be able to cure more cancer patients, and we think that, that Nupogen will have a big role in that. I think the lesson is that if you uh, take a risk and if you take a chance and if you uh, do it well, uh, uh, wonderful success can come for uh, patients and for Amgen and for oneself uh, by participating. just allowed me to get well enough to come home so much sooner and that like a, is, it was, is, was the biggest thing for me. The fact that I could come back to my, my own house, in my own environment, with my own family, at my side, was everything to me, it was everything to me. Happy anniversary and congratulations, Andrew. Happy birthday, Nupogen. Happy birthday, Nupogen. Feliz quinto aniversario, Nupogen. Nupogen. Bravo à Nupogen pour son cinquième anniversaire. Bon complet à Nupogen. House car sent me pas là, Nupogen il est. Happy birthday, eh, Nupogen? Happy hey, Earth Day bay, Nupogen ne. Tanjo bi omedito. Happy fifth anniversary, Nupogen. Happy fifth anniversary, Nupogen. Happy fifth anniversary, Nupogen. Happy fifth anniversary, Nupogen. Happy fifth birthday, Nupogen. Yay! Happy anniversary, Nupogen. I'm proud to be married to you. Happy fifth anniversary, Nupogen. Uh, you're a wonderful drug. Happy fifth anniversary of Nupogen to all of you.